Hello everyone, this is Aaron Stark in a new video about OBS and I'm going to show you how to enable VAAP uh, hardware acceleration in order to re uh, encode in your video um, with uh, your GPU, not your CPU. So if you go here to settings, you can check here in settings in the output you have different uh, streaming recording audio. Uh, for a streaming, I would recommend uh, use the normal one, but in recording, you have uh, here, you can choose an encoder. Uh, right now, I cannot click because I'm using this the same OBS to record, but you can see here, FFMPEG VAAP. This is for Intel um, and I believe also AMD, if I'm not mistaken, video hardware acceleration. Um, I'm using right now the Flatpak version and I'm using Fedora 34, 34 Beta. So yeah, it is working really fine and you can get uh, while you are recording and also your CPU is going to need some processing power, obviously. It's much better if the recording is handled by the GPU, the integrated GPU in this case, but if you have an external GPU, it would be much better. So you can enable here in an, an encoder, you have to enable advanced, obviously, and in encoder, you can use the AP. And this one, I just, uh, I just leave it like that um, by default. It's not necessary to change anything at least you have uh, a specific uh, setup for something, but yeah. And I use uh, 8,000 kilobits per second. I think it's okay. So you can see here uh, also I'm using uh, GNOME 40, obviously in Fedora, the new beta and yeah. Mm, for me it's working really fine and um, with the VAAP acceleration here also you can check the VA info if you see these values it means you have the acceleration in my case it's kind of a little old it's an HD uh, 5500 uh, series and I only have for H264 uh, at least I have this one acceleration for this one uh, BC1 but unfortunately I don't have for the new one H265 for example uh, probably if you have a UHD Intel series um, the Ultra HD obviously uh, those uh, integrated GPU have uh, the 4K265 acceleration but not in my case but it doesn't matter you can check with uh, VA info or another one was uh, VA de Pau or something like that for AMD also have and NVIDIA graphics. You can check in in internet what um, hardware acceleration is using your GPU and also it depends on what kind of uh, generation do you have of course. So yeah, that's it. Uh, as I said, uh, it's working really great. Mm, despite that is an Intel integrated only, but you can see here is working fine for the purpose, I guess. And I don't have any complaint except that in my case I'm using right now X or RG, not Wyland. Unfortunately, Wyland is still not ready at all. Uh, with uh, uh, the version from uh, Flatpak, unfortunately, the the OBS from the repositories of Fedora, the RPM Fusion, uh, it doesn't work, and also there is a complement for that, but it doesn't work either. Uh, only in R Linux, you have a complement a complement uh, that you can uh, install from. Uh, Owl, but not in this case, and it's quite different. And I think Fedora recommends to use the one from Flatpak, 
and I for the moment is working great in X or RG, but not while and unfortunately, and I looking forward to see if they fix the book because it's driving me crazy a little bit be because obviously I want to use Wylan so yeah but yeah you can uh, as I said you can s s uh, go settings uh, check the output advance and enable your hardware acceleration encoder video so that's it uh, I hope this video is helpful to you so you can subscribe to the cha this channel if you want more videos. I will try to record more videos, uh, obviously, but I couldn't. Uh, I was waiting for a better technology, uh, an improvement, and uh, a there was a few things that w uh, wasn't uh, really clear. But yeah, unfortunately still I need to use XORG instead of Wyland in order to record a video, unfortunately. Um, that's bad news, but um, I, I will wait for the release of Fedora 34. I will keep updating this system and see if they fix the problem. I don't sure about that, but I think it's related to the pipe war uh, because uh, geno no, Genome doesn't use uh, Pulse Audio anymore, it's using PiperWire. So for that reason, I think that is the problem and that is uh, why the, uh, the screen uh, freezes, it's, it's frozen, uh, it doesn't move and I can't record. I think it's qu uh, something related to PiperWire, I'm not sure about that but I also had a few problems uh, when I had our Linux last week and because I had enabled Pulse, Pulse Audio and uh, Genome was pushing PiperWire at the same time I think that was the reason I had some problems then when I disabled completely uh, Pulse Audio and also I, um, I replaced some uh, files uh, default files that I had uh, to uh, inter uh, to modify to to use the default from the updates because sometimes you know the config files in on our Linux if you modify something it's going to save the new version as a pack new or whatever and it's not going to replace your config files so yeah that also was a little problematic but now I'm using Fedora 34 um, still a different problem but it's still a problem so yeah so thank you very much uh, if you want more videos like this please let me know and if you have any doubts about OBS for example you can let me a comment below so thank you very much